our new theme is fruit salad. I love fruit salad. I love fruit salad. Love fruit yeah, salad. Yeah, very juicy. Yummy. Well, this one we're going to be learning all about the fruit of the spirit, not real apples and pears and grapes. Now, you may have heard about the fruit of the spirit before. The Bible says that when we have God's Holy Spirit living inside of us, he helps us to grow good things in our lives, just like a tree or a plant that grows good fruit. And those good things help us to become more like Jesus and more like the people that God wants us to be. Today we're going to kick off thinking about love. The Holy Spirit can help us to grow love in our hearts and show that love to others, just like Jesus did. That's right. We learn about the fruits of the Spirit in the book of Acts in the Bible. We will see how the disciples and the very first Christians grew in the fruit of the Spirit too. And think about how our actions can show that we are followers of Jesus. So today we're looking at a story from Acts 3 verses 1 to 10. And maybe you could find them in your Bible and read them this week. Okay, so here's the story. One day, Peter and John went to the temple. There at the gate sat a man who had been crippled all his life. His legs had never worked pro properly and so every day he was carried to this gate to beg for food or money. The man saw Peter and John going into the temple and asked them for money. Peter and John looked at him and said, Look at us! We don't have any silver or any gold. But what we do have is something else. I can give you something else. By the power of Jesus Christ, stand up and walk. Then Peter took the man's hand and he lifted him up. Immediately, the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped up, he stood on his feet and he began to walk. He started jumping and leaping and praising God and all the people who saw him couldn't believe what they were seeing. You know, Peter and John didn't have money to offer the poor crippled man, but they showed him love. He'd been sat there begging for years and years, but that day everything changed in his life because the two disciples showed him God's love. That's the first of the fruits of the spirit that we're learning about is love. We're going to put that on our tree so that you can see it behind us. Our Bible verse for this month is found in a book of the Bible called Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 and it tells us all of the fruits of the spirit that we'll be learning this next couple of months today we're learning about that the fruit of the spirit is it's love now i have a challenge for you this week i want you to think of one way that you could show love to somebody it doesn't have to be a big thing it could be tidying your toys away without being asked mm playing with a younger brother or sister to give your mum and dad a break or offering to help when someone looks really busy or is struggling with something. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill your heart with love and to show you, to show you the person that needs God's love this week, just like Peter and John did. Before we go, we're going to pray. Dear God, thank you for the Holy Spirit, the helper that you gave to us when Jesus went to heaven to be with you. Thank you that he helps us to grow more like Jesus and more like the people you want us to be. Holy Spirit, thank you that you grow good things in our lives. Help us this week to show God's love to others. Help us to grow the fruit of love in our hearts. Amen. We hope you have a great week this week, kids. Hopefully, we'll see you one Sunday morning down at BCC. Ask your parent to book tickets on Church Suite and we will see you there. If you can't join us on a Sunday, then keep watching our family devotions and joining in with all of the activities that we send you and that we post on Facebook. We really love to see what you get up to. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.